Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome everyone to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I love sharing with you things I find amazing about the Quran. In this one ayah today, Allah says, فَإِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ السِّرَّ وَأَخْفَى Allah knows the secret and what is even more hidden. What's more hidden than a secret, you know? A secret is something you keep inside of you, and you know it at least, right? But then there are things inside of you that you're not even aware of. There are things that are in your subconscious. There are things that are deeply embedded in your early memory that are still impacting the way you speak, the way you act, and the way you behave that you're not even sure of. Sometimes people have very aggressive behavior. Sometimes people have very, you know, they, have a, they, they just blurt out and they say a lot of sarcastic things or condescending things. And then when they go to therapy and they talk to, you know, a psychiatrist and they, you know, they dig deep into their, the, the, the untapped recesses of their mind, they discover there are things in my past that I didn't even realize are there that are more hidden than even a secret that I'm keeping that impact the way that I behave. In other words, you're discovering more about yourself. Allah is saying there are things you're conscious of that you hide that He knows about. But He actually knows you better than even you know yourself. And even a psychiatrist is going to be able to dig at some of the scraps, some, some droplets of those memories that He's able to pull out and make you better aware of yourself. And Allah is saying subhanahu wa ta'ala that He knows you better than even that. He knows you better than you know yourself or anybody else can dig out of you. Now what's the point of knowing that? The point of knowing that is when you get to know Allah. When you get to know Allah. When you try to start remembering Allah, then Allah makes you more aware of yourself than you've ever been. He starts opening up to you your own consciousness, your own, you know, the things that are deep inside you that you weren't even aware of. He starts making you aware of them and you become a better human being, a healthier human being. You're able to combat some of the bad behaviors that you have, some of the emotional stress that you have. Some people get very nervous, some people get very scared, some people get very angry and they don't know why they get that way, right? And the closeness, your spiritual closeness to Allah starts actually unraveling those things and they start actually giving you more and more confidence and they start giving you more and more clarity you know it's beautiful that Allah Azza wa Jal mentions this but, you know the famous saying man arafa rabbahu arafa nafsahu the one who got to know his master actually truly got to know himself the Quran says wala takunu kalladhina nasu Allah fa ansahum anfusahum don't become like people who forgot Allah so Allah made them forget themselves right now what's the opposite if Allah made someone forget who they really are truth about themselves those who remember Allah, Allah will make them truly aware of themselves. They're truly going to become aware of themselves. So our closeness to Allah, one of its incredible benefits is actually our own awareness of self. Our own awareness of self. And it, it alleviates us from so many sadnesses and so many negative emotions in life and saves us so much trouble in all of our relationships, even the one we have with our own selves. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.